Hello there. Welcome to the second video in the series on notes to installing an Apollo Solar Geyser. Today, we'll be looking at the integrated high pressure system, specifically the temperature and pressure relief valve, or TP valve for short. As you can see from the illustration, on top of our Apollo Geyser is a valve connected to a metal discharge tube. This is the TP valve and is of critical importance. So, why does a geyser need a TP valve? Well, in layman terms, installation of a temperature and pressure relief valve is critical to the safe operation of any water heater. The mighty TP valve is the last line of defense for a heated, pressurized tank as it protects the equipment from excess pressure and ultimately, catastrophic failure. It could potentially be the difference between a nice hot shower at the end of a long day or an exploding water heater. Understanding how a TP valve works will help you keep your water heater in tip-top shape and prevent possible damage to your home. We'll get into the technical details in a moment, but first, let's find out the consequences of not installing a TP valve when the geyser reaches temperatures of 100 degrees Celsius. So why is water over 100 degrees Celsius not desirable in a water heater? In a standard solar geyser, the water is heated by either the sun or an electrical backup element. As the water reaches temperatures between 50 and 60 degrees Celsius, both the water and the solar geyser's metal tank expand. Some expansion is normal, but too much expansion is unsafe. This tank is also under pressure from the normal working pressure of the cold water supply, 4 bar in South Africa. As water is heated under pressure, the boiling point rises. The energy potential in superheated water is called latent heat energy and will flash to steam when exposed to normal atmospheric pressure. This flash to steam has the explosive potential of over 2 million pounds of energy or more than half a kilogram of TNT. 648 grams to be exact. The TP valve that prevents the tank from rupturing or exploding is a two-in-one device that responds to both pressure increases and temperature increases. When the temperature probe on the TP senses water temperatures of 100 degrees Celsius or the pressure reaches 150 psi, a properly functioning TP valve opens and expels hot water and steam through the discharge tube. The valve will stay open, allowing cold water to fill in and gradually relieving overheated water and pressure. Generally, when you see a TP valve weeping or dribbling, it is due to pressure, thermal expansion, or foreign materials such as calcium buildup in the valve seat. This material on the valve seat will prevent the valve from closing tightly. If the valve is discharging large quantities of water, then the release is due to temperature. Extra note, the discharge tube attached to the TP valve is often overlooked as an important installation point, but is in fact mandated per South African National Standards, SANS, Regulation Requirement and a Polar Installation Manual. Failure to comply could result in an instant warranty voidance. There is a twofold reason why it needs to be installed. Number one, personal safety. When the solar geyser is overheating, it could severely harm a person as it shoots out extremely hot water over a distance. Say for example in the unlikely case of maintenance being done on the roof or if the geyser is installed near the edge of the roof, whoever is walking underneath it. Number 2. Geyser Lifespan Without the discharge pipe, the hot water will cause a silicone around the TP valve insert to experience wear and tear at a much faster rate. Once the silicone seal is broken, water will begin seeping into the insulation foam layer between the inner and outer tank. This moisture, combined with high heat, will cause the insulation foam to go through a third stage expansion process. Also, when water comes into contact with this foam, it becomes extremely acidic and corrosive. The result is often either the outer tank warps and rips open, burst geyser, or the inner tank rusts through from the outside due to the acidity caused by the water and insulation foam reaction, leaking geyser. TP valves should be inspected and tested on every service call. 
Many changes may take place in the plumbing system after the original installation. It is important to note that during South African summers or when the house has been left vacant for a period of time, it is quite common for TP valves to accumulate a lot of wear and tear and thus were most likely to malfunction.